Hello and welcome! This is Melskinner, and we're back with some more Xenonauts. And there's a lot going on on the map right now. We managed to knock down a Corvette. We have three fighters in the area, though, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to engage that just yet. We have another Corvette, I believe, escorted by two fighters. So, we've got a lot going on. I have two Condors coming in to try and knock these guys out. And I think, normally speaking, I would... Let's just speed that up so that we get this engagement. Normally speaking, I would ought to resolve this, especially as it's at, it's at 100%, but I need to practice. I don't know exactly how to engage these fighters, and I'm going to need to uh, in the near future with these uh, this, this engagement, because I'm going to want to do the Corvette fight myself. So we'll have to see uh, if I can figure out exactly how to do the, this fight against these fighters. So let's go ahead and engage. All right, so one thing I'm noticing right away is it seems like these fighters have a really long range. Not exactly sure why that is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my missiles right now because I don't know if I want to fire them because I think these guys get a dodge roll. So does that mean that they have missiles themselves? That seems like they're very long range if they do. All right, well. If we want to get their... If we want to get their missiles out, then we're going to want to move straight at them, aren't we? Because then the dodge roll is going to be more effective, I think. So, what we'll do... Is I'll have one flank. Do we want to hit them? Okay, we just figured out which ones they're going for. The Condor 1, turn on your one of your missiles. Or two, come over this way. It seems like they're all going after you. Okay, not all of them. Turn your missiles back off. Under one, go ahead and go straight at this guy. I'm gonna have to like micromanage just like a like a mother. So you're gonna have to come over here. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to turn your afterburner on in a second. But uh, let's just get you straight angled. Here come. What I assume are missiles. And we have a dodge roll here. So I'm going to get ready to use it when I get close. A almost time. Let's just use it now. Ah, there's another missile. All right. Um, is there a way I can dodge that? <laughs> I don't, I don't know there is. Uh, we try another one. Okay, we managed to dodge it. Let's get Condor 2 here. Try and engage. Turn on your afterburner. Turn on one missile. Okay, never mind. We got it already. Okay, you turn on under two, and off your afterburner. All right, so uh, that was successful. So we kind of figured out there how to engage them. So straight on, attack, and dodge roll. So now that was kind of dicey, but I at least figured it out. You're going to turn your afterburner on. We're going to go after this guy. And we'll hit him from the side with a missile. You won't be able to dodge roll it. Then we'll switch over to the other one once this missile hits. Okay, landed. Um, turn that one on. Okay, I mean, right there we managed to do it. I took a little bit of damage, but I, I think I figured out exactly what I need to do to fight these, uh, these things effectively. Okay, so... Uh, that was really good. I like that. All right, so let's just make sure that we have... I, I believe I set up in the last video my Charlie 1 squad. I just double check that we have dropship Charlie 1 is set up. It looks like it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and send Charlie 1 out there. Okay, so this is going to be a little trickier, I think, uh, because we're going to have more to focus on. But the strategy is still going to be the same. So I have uh, two Condors and a Foxtrot in this engagement versus their three aircraft. Now, the Foxtrot's job is just to hit 
the Corvette with missiles. Corvettes are slow, so we should be able to keep away from them for the most part. And I might even just go after the fighters and ignore the Corvette. We'll see. We'll see. That's a, that's a, that's a strategy anyway. We might have to do this over the ocean. All right. Um, center on target. We've got what's coming in. Another Corvette. Okay, so I don't think my fighters have arrived. Um, no, the Foxtrots might be in. Uh, let's, just, let's just check that real quick. The Fox targets are in, they just don't have ammo and fuel yet. So, uh, a little bit of time needed still for that. Fortunately, this thing is doing a whole bunch of bad things while uh, we're not engaging it. How are we doing now as far as our craft? The ammo is 50%. Probably not too much. There we go. Intercept the sucker. Okay, so Foxtrot 1 and 3. Out you go. Okay. This is going to be over the ocean. I have no fuel. I'm going to auto-resolve this just because of how little fuel I have. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, we successfully did it. We took a bunch of damage. I don't think I would have been able to do that myself. Uh, if I were to have controlled that with 26 seconds of fuel, there's no way I would have been able to do that. So that's why I ought to resolve it. That was a real risk, though, because as you can see, we could have lost one of our aircraft. And these are going to be knocked out for a while. So if we continue to have all this crap going on, but it was still good. We got to practice the fighter stuff. So um, let's have these guys return to base. I just don't like how, how long they'll probably uh, be out of commission. So, this guy's doubling back. Be able to uh, engage him with 136 seconds of fuel, which is fine. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do what we've done in the past, which is just fire off all the missiles and uh, get out of dodge. Because, uh, I mean, these guys are fairly easy if they don't have fighter escort. Okay, and then we're just going to get out of dodge. All seem to be on target. Boom, dead. Okay, so we have Charlie 2. Possibly we want to send out as well. I mean, that's within our radar range, so I can at least see if any enemy are going to be on their way. So um, let's go ahead and set that up. Well, before I do that, real quick, go into our squad, because I haven't set them up at all. The one thing uh, that could be said here for not sending Charlie 2 is the fact that we do not have upgrade armor for this squad. Uh, we do have the, you know, this better body armor, the, the jackal armor, but we do not have the wolf armor. I mean, you're a little bit stronger. Do we give you a grenade or something? Eh, all right, that, that's fine. We'll just... Okay. I think they're they're good to go. Let's just make sure Charlie 2 itself is ready to go. It looks like it is. So we'll send that out. Crash site. Intercept. Charlie 2. Okay. So, unfortunately, this thing did do a fair amount of damage to us, but the fact that we'll be, we knocked it down and we'll be intercepting is good. And here we're about to have our engagement mission. It looks like it's just going to be still daytime, so that's good as well. So... Uh, they've arri arrived at crash site number 22. Let's go ahead and engage. So that was a little uh, nerve-wracking. The game definitely tested me really quick there. And I'm a little proud of myself that I was able to figure out how those fighters worked, having never engaged them before. Okay, let's go ahead and... I forgot that I had so many of these guys with wolf armor. Okay, so there's the edge of the map there, and here's the other edge of the map. So looks like the it's gonna be a more open map, so our hunter scout car is gonna be pretty useful. That way. There's a slight possibility there's something out there, but go ahead and have it start moving this way. And we'll get it moving towards the road. Okay, so we see a local force. Okay, 
So, Hunter Scout Car will be very useful on this map. Let's not get too carried away here. Take things nice and slow and easy. Make sure we check our corners. Okay. Shield's going to go around this side. I think I'm going to have it come and hug the wall here. We've got a building out in front of us. Peek around there. Um, you know, it's a good spot, I think, to go ahead and take an E. Yes, very, very open map. It's good that we... We got here while it was still daylight. Okay, sniper number one is going to come in behind this tree. Take an E. So we can cover anything that's going on over here. Sniper number two is going to come in... There. Look that way. Cover anything that comes this way. And our rifleman is going to do what? Come up to this bush or tree or whatever it is. Sure. And take an E. Look that way. And good. Have this assaulter come in here. So they'll be fairly well protected here. Any. And this assaulter is going to round front of the dropship here and move over this way, and then I'll have her uh, have her take a knee here. Okay. I think we're in a pretty good position. We've got cover. What was that noise? <laughs> There's a very loud thwack noise, like uh, something got hit over the head. Oh. The, what are they called? Reapers? Maybe the Reaper got a civilian. Uh, that thwack noise. So it turns them into zombies if it hits them, right? So, civilians are bad for us then, right? Okay, so the Hunter Scout car is not seeing much of anything. So I'm going to have to be very careful. I mean, I don't know that for sure. I haven't seen any of the aliens, so I don't know what to expect. But I have to be careful. I'm going to be a little bit on the cautious side then. Because we know that these things can really move. Uh, I think I'm just going to move a little bit at a time. And we'll try and use the range to our advantage. Because if I remember correctly, that was the one thing that they said is uh, if they're caught out in the open, then you can take an advantage of them. So what we're going to try and do. We're going to move our sniper up, maybe. Um, let's, take a, let's take this a little bit slower. Uh, I feel like I'm going a little bit too out there. All right, this is going to be a more aggressive move, but this is more open terrain here. So, have you take an E. We're going to round this corner for me, just to make sure there's nothing there. There isn't. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more out in the open, but uh, I'm hoping there's nothing really over here yet. Um, Hunter Scout car probably would have seen it. Now, I was saying I was going to take things a little bit easier, but, <laughs> and then didn't do it, but. You can get there. Is decent-ish cover. I'm going to treat this like this is indeed going to be a situation where we're going to encounter, um, Reapers. So, I'm going to... Position my men as if that were the case. I'm going to put my assaulter over here. Should keep them in cover with the wall of the rock protecting them. 
in the same fashion, uh, they will be in the area if one of those Reapers charges to come over and blast with a shotgun or something uh, to try and keep it away. Uh, but again, these things can really move, so... This positioning might have been risky. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Another weird noise. I have no idea what the hell that was. <laughs> so it's possible I have no idea what's going on here, but first we had a... a what sounded like somebody getting thwacked over the head, and then uh, something that sounded like, I don't know, uh, somebody getting beamed up. I, uh, um, I don't know what to think of that. Uh, can we squeeze through here? No, it says we can't. Uh, I could I could go through here. I'd have to run over that rock, though. Um, I'll just go along the road here. Maybe not covering the most ground, but... Taking a path of not as much resistance. So we're not flattening cover. Okay. So we've done that much. Uh, there may be alien types we haven't seen yet, so I, I can't take too much for granted. Come and get in behind this rock, face this way, and take an E. The door is open here, so I don't know what to think of that just yet. I just, I don't know what to think of those sound effects. They're not sound effects I'm familiar with, so... I have this guy run over here, just peek this corner. There's civilians over here, so I, I suspect there's nothing there, but... I don't really know. Have you turn around that way. Alright, now I'm like ultra, ultra cautious here. Uh, not really sure what to think. I mean, if there's Reapers, they're probably waiting for me um, to make too too aggressive of a move and just stomp me. It could be a new alien type. Uh, the sounds I, I heard might have been um, one of those drones. Um, I don't know uh, if they make any particular special effect. Sound, that is. Okay. Well, have the shield move up here. We'll clear this house. Enter. That way. That way. Go up here. Be able to look out the window. Take knee. Face the shield the right way. Okay, the sniper is going to move up here. And then just take a knee. So, we've just got this area held down for now. The Assaulter's mostly there just to... ...cover the area so that we don't get flanked, and if we need the Assaulter to help us out with something charging us, we can do that. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it for this turn. Let's see if we hear any more weird sound effects. Well, that's definitely something different. What the hell is that? I want to get a better look at it. Looks like it has some kind of armor. I don't know. It's kind of hard to make out exactly what it looks like. It almost looks like it's got a uh, parrot face or something like that. Um, we should be able to open up on it with the machine gun here. And I see no reason why not. We probably open up on it with the machine gun, then back the hunter scout car up. Because there's no real uh, advantage to just sitting here. We won't be able to get more than one shot off. So this is kind of where I... Uh, that made a very dull, funky... Well, that was the sound, though, wasn't it? I, I was saying that there was a sound like something got thwacked over the head. That was the noise. Um, here would be good. We'll lose sight of the enemy. I don't really want to block vision, though. For my rifleman here. So I'm going to move up just very slightly. And we'll face this way. So some kind of new enemy that we have never seen before. I could move here. We'd have vision of the door, I think. From here. And then we'd take an E. But you know what? This is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So definitely this is a new alien we've never seen before. Which I guess explains all the weird noises we've heard. Uh, and they, it makes like a weird noise when you shoot one, but in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.